Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can bypass Facebook's character limit for those posts with a color background. You can bypass the character limit so you can write longer posts and still have that color background. Now, this is a super powerful trick if you wanna have call to action posts, posts that engage your audience and get them to say something or do something, but your post requires a little bit more text than can fit in that 130 character limit. In fact, this trick allows you to write as many words, as many characters as you like. So let's dive in. Creating posts on Facebook that we refer to as call to action posts. These are posts that grab your audience's attention and gets them to take action, gets them to comment or like or do something. It's a great way to boost your engagement. It's a great way to find out who your best leads are. It's a great way to start conversation with good leads and turn them into paying customers and clients. But there's a problem. We have a problem. What? Facebook limits the number of characters that you can put on a call to action post. Let me show you an example here. Here's an example of a call to action post that I used. It says, it worked. Been testing Facebook's professional mode to get my posts in front of more targeted prospects. Want to see. This is maxing out the number of characters that Facebook will allow me to put on this particular type of post. This colored background with just text and emojis on it, this is what we call a call to action post. And they're great, but 130 characters is very limiting. There's a lot more information that I would have liked to include in this post. I'll show you what I actually wanted this post to say. I wanted it to say, it worked. I've been testing Facebook's professional mode to get my posts in front of more targeted prospects. Comment pro below if you wanna see how it works. I really like this because in a call to action post, when you're specific and you tell your audience exactly what to do, you're gonna to tend to get a better response. You're gonna get more engagement. So this is what I wanted to type, but Facebook would only allow me to type this much. And maybe you've run into this problem before. You have a message you wanna get across and it just won't fit on this call to action type post format. For me, I'll often spend 10 or 20, even 30 minutes formatting and rewriting until I'm able to fit it into that 130 character limit. There's gotta be a better way, right? Well, some people will say, you know, just go create a graphic in Canva. And I went over to Canva here and just created this Facebook post and this fit, I could fit all my characters in, it worked. I've been testing Facebook's professional mode to get my posts in front of more targeted prospects. Comment pro below if you wanna see how it works. So this looks good and you might think, well, that's the solution. You can create whatever you want in Canva, but there's a problem. We know Facebook's algorithm favors posts like this, favors actual call to action posts that are just on the colored background, they're just text-based posts. We know these posts get seen by more people versus if we do it sort of this hack way and put it on an image. Facebook's preference is a native post like this. So how do we get more characters in? So how can we do it? How can we work around this and get more characters on a CTA call to action post? Well, here's the solution. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. First thing you need to do is go over to your profile and I'm gonna go down to post here. And I'm gonna turn this on to only me. And you'll see why, because we're gonna do a little bit of a test post first. So I'm gonna click only me. I'm gonna save that. And then I'm just gonna type test here. And I'm gonna go and choose my background. So for me, I like to use this green colored background. And then I can go ahead and post this. And I'm the only person that's gonna see it since I have it set to only me. And so you're gonna see it showed up right here, test. So that's the first step. The next step is I'm gonna open up a new window and I'm gonna type in m.facebook.com. And what that does is that opens up the mobile version of Facebook in a browser. So the M tells Facebook we wanna do this in the mobile version, even though we're working on a desktop. So I'm just gonna type in that and you'll see that Facebook comes up. It looks a little bit weird because it is the mobile version. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my profile image here in the top left-hand corner. That's gonna take me over to my profile and I'm gonna scroll down and here's my test post right here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on these three dots in the top right-hand corner and I'm gonna click on edit post. And from here, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna grab the copy that I wanted to use. So this is the long copy. It's far too long to fit in that 130 characters. But when I go back to the mobile version, I'm just gonna take this test and I'm gonna replace it with the copy that I wanna use. And then I'm gonna click on save. And you'll see what it does. It puts in the full copy here, even though it goes beyond the 130 character limit. Well, let's go back and take a look at my profile on regular Facebook. So here's that post that I just posted test. I'm gonna refresh the page and we'll see what comes up here on the regular desktop version. Here it is right here. It says, it worked. I've been testing Facebook's professional mode to get my posts in front of more targeted prospects. Comment pro below if you wanna see how it works. 
Awesome, right? So now I've got the full text that I want to use. This is much simpler. I think this is probably going to get more engagement. And now all I need to do is change the audience. So you can see this little lock icon here. When you see that, that tells you that your post is locked. The audience is locked to, in this case, it's only me. What I'm going to do again is I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to edit audience. And now I can make this public. All I need to do is click on public and then click on save. I'm not actually going to do this since this is just a test post, but that shows you how you can squeeze in as many characters as you like into a call to action post that'll be natively on that colored background using the bold text that Facebook likes and is going to show this type of post to more and more people in your audience. Now, I say this with a caveat. Does this mean that you should go write paragraphs and paragraphs and put it all in a colored background? And the answer is no. A call to action post is most effective when it's very simple and it's clear, your message is clear. That makes it easy for your audience to read the message, understand what they're supposed to do, how they'll benefit, and then they'll take action. So this trick that I just showed you is a great way to squeeze in maybe a couple extra words, a few more characters that you can't fit into the regular call to action type post. And this is gonna allow you to make really juicy posts that are still simple, still clear, still short, and they're gonna grab your audience's attention even better. Now, full transparency, when we go back to my original post, you'll see the engagement I got here. I got 743 comments, 292 likes. When we take a look at the insights here, it's big, right? This post was shown 5,700 times, 4,500 people saw this. It got almost 1,800 engagements. And a big reason why this was able to happen and why I was able to get so much engagement is because I use a tool, it's called Unipro. Unipro goes out and does all the work on Facebook that Facebook loves. Basically, it makes me a VIP on Facebook so that I'm guaranteed to get engagement on everything that I post. Unipro goes and gets leads, it generates more engagement, it nurtures my audience and turns them into paying customers and clients. It's been a game changer for our business and I know it will be for you too if you're using Facebook to market your business. So go over to Unipro, check it out. It's at unipro.com. That's what I've got for you in this video. A really neat little hack that you can use to get more characters onto your call to action posts to make them even better, even juicier for your audience. If you have any questions or comments about the strategy, leave those below. I'm happy to help out. And of course, if you haven't checked out Unipro yet, you gotta check it out. Go over to unipro.com. I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for checking out this video and I can't wait to see you in the next video.